it can reverse out of here really, really well. Guys, look at this. So that time it actually reversed, which is harder. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're going to be testing out Smart Summon here in the UK and we're going to be trying it on private property. So this isn't actually in a car park, which means there's no map data for the area we're going to test it at and we're going to see how well it does. Before we do that though, I actually started filming this yesterday in a car park and this footage I got was pretty incredible. And what I'm going to try and get the car to do is actually come all the way around and then go around this kind of verge. Now it couldn't reverse here, so it's going to have to go all the way around that way, all, all the way around to the left i'm not sure which way it's going to pick so this is going to be quite interesting uh let's give this a whirl so i want to go all the way around and hopefully yeah so look at that it's giving itself space because it knows that there's hedges there and oh look at this on the map it's giving us a totally different route that it wants to take us around and you know what? That is correct. This is a one-way car park, everybody. So the car actually followed the one-way system and correctly navigated itself around the car park. If you want to see a full video of me doing it in official car parks, hit the like button. If this video gets a thousand likes, I will do that this week. But for now, let's see how it works on a driveway in our little car park that is just... Just a dirt track. Last time I used the Come To Me feature, I showed you a little trick where if you had two iPhones connected to the same Tesla account, you could actually leave one in here and the car is tricked to thinking you are next to the car. So you can go further away and summon the car to you. Does that still work in 2020, 2018.1? Let's find out. So you can clearly see that Holly's phone is down there. It's connected to my car. It's all on, the car knows everything. We're gonna close the door and lock it. So there we go, we've locked the car. And now this is where previously, if you went further than six meters, which is probably about here from the car, it actually wouldn't drive itself at all. So let's go all the way over here and give this a test. I've pressed the come to me button. Is the car gonna come to me or is it gonna stay over there? You can see that actually on the phone, it says waiting for phone to come back in range. So they fixed it. They actually saw the video and they have fixed the bug. So what we sadly have to do is pretend that we're a dog walker and uh, hopefully, if we get close enough, it should start following me. Like, I don't know how close I need to get. It's just like, it's like wiggling its wheels. It's saying waiting for phone to come. Okay, so now it's driving, but the problem is I am right next to it. So I don't really know where it's, where it's like trying to get to or what it thinks. So anyway. I'm gonna hold down coming to me still. All right, come on car, this way. Come on, let's go on a little walk. Waiting for phone to come back in range. As you can see, this is pants. That was a complete failure then. So the come to me feature is just absolutely rubbish on the car at the moment. And again, that is because of the UN regulations. All you have to do basically is be within a meter or two of the car so that it's connected via Bluetooth. Um, and then the car won't drive over 20 meters. But the problem with that, as you can see, is you literally have to be next to your car. And if you're next to your car, why would you need it to drive itself? This is how close I have to be next to my car to make it, there we go. Okay, so it's like three meters. Waiting for pedestrian. This actually might be easier if I get in the car and do it. We're now in the car and this in theory should solve all issues. We don't need to be tethered because obviously we're right in the car. Bluetooth shouldn't be a, a connection issue. Let's see what the car wants to do. So we're gonna try and drive this out. Um, I'm just using my phone and, oh, okay, interesting. So it's gone forward a bit, says waiting for path to clear. Oh, stopping again, waiting for path to clear. Just waiting for path to clear. There is nothing, absolutely nothing in the way as you can see, and okay, now it's, it's doing it, it's doing it, we're going, we're going. Will it go around here? Oh, it, it's a tight one. So as you can see, it is pretty tight. The car is now, okay, it now says it's been completed. So what we're gonna try and do is get the car to go actually just around this corner. That's all I wanted it to do, was actually to be able to go around this corner because it's quite tight. So let's try it again. So it's now reversing us back out. Yeah, it's reversing us out for some reason. Come on, you can do it. There's a, there's a good gap. Oh God, you can see how quickly, yeah, no, auto park aborted. So apparently this here is a bit too tight for it to figure out. Again, not great, because all I really wanted to, to do in this situation, I wanted to stand at the porchway, hold the come to me feature and have the car come pick me up so I didn't get wet. 
and it can't do it for such a big plethora of reasons. That's why I just don't use this feature. Let's try the same corner, but in reverse. So I've come forward a little bit now, and we're gonna try and reverse back around that corner. And I really can't see, except for actually the cameras down there are quite nice to be able to see. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Look at this. So it can reverse. It can reverse out of here really, really well. Even with Holly there, it didn't have a problem. It's still going, still going. So, I mean, guys, look at this. So it's still going. I'm not sure why it stops. Okay, there we go. So that's the maximum distance reach. So that time it actually reversed, which is harder out of the space I wanted it to drive down. With reversing working so well, let's try something totally different. I'm gonna be behind the car. I'm gonna ask the car to come to me. So in theory, I should be close enough. Uh, waiting for phone in reverse, here we go. So what I'm gonna try and do is just walk my car into a car parking space. Oh, I don't know where it's going here. Reducing speeds in revert, what? I don't know what it's trying to do here, but all I want it to do is follow me backwards. But look, it's really struggling. And again, this, this is, has, has to be because I have to be so close to the car, then I'm a barrier for the car. And you can see it's, oh no, it's still going. Still thinking about it. Reducing speed until visibility improves. I'm not sure what visibility it needs improving, but it's just a bit stuck. Currently it's not doing what it's really meant to be doing. All I wanna do is stand at the door and hold my come to me button and then the, the car should come to me, pick me up so I don't get wet and then I can go off or I can jump into the house, get out the car and tell the car to come park itself with Smart Summon. But as you can see, in the UK, we can't do any of that. This is the one case I have used Smart Summon and it works well. So imagine here that we're in a really tight car parking space and I actually can't get into my door. Now what I want to do is I'm gonna stand right there. I want the car to come out and basically reverse and then just drive up here and pick me up. Uh, and save me from trying to scramble through and get past someone else's door. So what we're going to do is set that up on the app and this hopefully should actually work without issues. So far it's not been great. Oh, someone can't start at this time. I really, really want to show everything obviously that the Tesla can do and this is completely unedited. Um, just so you guys can see there are still lots of teething issues. Okay, here we go. So the car is coming out. It's thinking about it waiting for path to clear okay so i'm not sure what path it's is it okay so holly says it's going to take out the cone on her side still says waiting for path to clear waiting for path to clear i again there's nothing there's nothing in its way oh is it is it the cone so i think it's a little bit struggling with the cone it doesn't want to hit the cone we've got one there and we've got one on the other side yeah so i don't know why it's not reversing it's not reversing all the way back and I just don't understand why. There we go, there we go, there we go. Did it hit the cone? No, it didn't hit the cone. Perfect. And now... Yeah, see? So it should have just done that straight away reversing. Waiting for phone to come back within range. It just drove itself out of range. Come on, come forward. It literally just needs to drive up there. Waiting for phone to come back into range. Again, this isn't an issue. This isn't Tesla's problem, by the way. This isn't because of Tesla. This is because of our stupid regulations. There we go, job done. So it actually did do it. But again, we've got so many issues because the car, you, you have to stand so bloody close to it, but then it drives itself out of range. You have to then chase it and oh, it's just a little bit of a nuisance. Honestly, I don't know what else to test because of these UN laws, we're literally so tethered to the car. So what I've done is Holly's got the phone in the car this time. I'm gonna be a pedestrian and I'm gonna step out from here when the car is summoning. So Holly's going into smart summon now. I don't know what else to test guys, seriously. Let me know what I should do. Here it comes. Hopefully it comes down smoothly. This is unedited of Holly just asking the car to come forward. Oh my God, it is slow. What? I, I can't see what's going on, so. What is it doing? All it needs to do is drive to here. That's where we've set. But it's literally, what's happening to it? What does it say? It says release the vehicle button. To release stop your the button to stop your vehicle. You can see where she's set. She's set for it to go so far ahead 
and it's just not going forward. Can't find a clear path. Auto oh, God. Can't find a clear path. In conclusion then, Smart Summon here in the UK, it's really not good. It's not Tesla's fault, it is the UN's fault. We need this law lifted because with, with that law, seriously, it's just pointless to try and use it. It doesn't work, it gets confused. Oh, it's such a shame because it's such a cool feature as well and I can't wait for it to be actually de-restricted and properly usable in here. Again, if this video hits a thousand likes, I'll make sure to go do another video in actual car parks and we'll be able to see the difference of how it reacts on private land like this versus already registered car parks that are already registered on the OS map. Leave a like, subscribe, and again, a huge shout out to all our patrons. We've now got 64 patrons, and if you want to get yourself a free supercharger by the end of the month, make sure to become a level three patron or above. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, don't forget, drive safe.